so first you need to download a file links posted in the description and then extract it in a folder and then inside you'll find uh, these folders step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 and how to.txt and all these things so simply open this how to.txt and the first step is to find the device id so what you have to do is open the registry and search for the string and then when you press find you get this thing i have already searched it so this is what i got you need to connect your device first and then modify and you need to just copy the last part and then go back to our folder open the step 1 folder you will find a device id.txt open it and then just paste your device id and then uh, click this extend flash.bat so you will get this uh, pop up now all you have to do is uh, switch off your extend okay now you have to connect your extend to your pc in uh, flash mode so for connecting your extend in flash mode all you have to do is first uh, power down your extend and then you have to hold this back key and then simultaneously you have to insert your usb into the space provided so press your back key and then insert your cable so you have to when when you see the green light when you see the green light it means that yeah everything's good and then you get all these things don't freak around just be calm okay so after the booting the flashing is done uh, you have to just uh, remove the cable and then remove your battery for uh, 5 seconds and then put it back and on your phone so here you can see NTY Docomo so this means that uh, we have the R1 EA018 SO01B firmware into the device so yeah it has now started now after that you have to enable the USB debug for doing that go to your settings and then uh, applications and then development and there you can see the option USB debugging just enable that okay and then connect your USB device the uh, cable USB cable again and then click the set step 2.cmd press any key to continue so when you do that we get a menu in our device and we have to just select the sixth option which is one two three four five six it is update by package in SD card for debug then your phone like switch switches off and gets restarted and something is getting installed I guess
so now the phone rebooted and it's getting flashed it will take a while I just edited the video it will take about maybe uh, 3 or 4 minutes I think it will just uh, shut down and then restart a couple of times so it's getting restarted you can see the docomo label so yeah it's now yeah now after that you just switch off your device And then go to the step 3 folder and uh, open this thing and then connect your USB cable again but before that you have to like press the back key again and then connect your uh, USB cable. You can see the green light just press enter then you can leave the button just relax again for like four minutes now what this is doing is this is flashing a new baseband for the x10i so it just got uh, finished press any key to continue okay this is over okay after that just unplug the USB and then uh, switch on your device so the phone gets restarted and then connect your USB again and then go to the step 4 folder and uh, open the runme.cmd this should give you the root access Now it will take a while to get this thing completed and then your phone reboots As you can see, you didn't see any Docomo uh, logo while your phone was booting and hence you have the root access on your beautiful X10. So I'm just uh, checking it with Tyranium backup. This is the application which runs only if we have the root access. Okay. So here it shows root access. Okay. That's it guys, this is the procedure, simple and easy to root your extent.